good morning good morning to the leader in you that's right we back for another edition of the morning to the leader in you today we're talking about giving your day an assignment let me tell you something each and every one of you that are entrepreneurs that are leaders in your own right in your community I say hats off to you. You know why? Because you're walking into this season that you're going to fulfill your assignment. But in order to do that, we have to be conscious about what we do every single day. That's why I live by the philosophy, give your day an assignment, because every single day it should be some intentionality. It should be purpose in every day. Uh, It should be a focused approach in every day. Now, granted, there's times that we have our downtime, our relaxation time. Anybody that know me know I love going to parks and in and, and botanical gardens and i unplug for several hours that's my you know that's an assignment though like something specific that i need for personal growth and development and just some downtime so even with my relaxed time even with my you know i'm just gonna take you know some time away time i plug that in i put it in my schedule right so that way i can make sure that it's actually going to happen sometimes when we're building a business you know, uh, we can be so in the zone of building the business that we stop building ourselves. We stop, we stop focusing on personal development. We stop focusing on um, us, right? And, and we so focus so much on the engine of the business, but we are the engine of the business. So if we don't take care of our personal being, our business is going to be deficient. Our business is not going to grow by leaps and bounds that we want all of our businesses to grow into. So one of the best ways to do that it, to make sure we don't get burnt out is that we just break the days down seven days in a week what are we doing every single day build you can build in your relaxed time your downtime your personal development time right so um sundays that's it for me I, i'm going to find some kind of naturistic space for me just to be in in that space in that quiet and just listening to nature right whatever it is for you you do that but we have to make sure that we're utilizing the remaining time we have in the month of October being very intentional because November, December, those are holiday months. Now get it, uh, get it in business, you know, holiday or not, I'm still going to build. And I, and I get you with many that think in that way as well. But what we also have to be very, very mindful of is that we don't waste time. I feel like a lot of times in, when people are building a business, we can waste time. So that's a part of today's discussion not wasting time as an entrepreneur not wasting your day as an entrepreneur not allowing the day to go by and then all of a sudden we're like okay where did the day go have any of you ever said that to yourself where did the day go okay so we're gonna kill that (laughs) where did the day go we're not gonna operate in that space anymore we're gonna rise above that and be intentional about our day we're gonna rise above it and we're gonna give our day an assignment we're gonna rise above it and accomplish our goals we're gonna rise above it and, and and manifest our dreams not just only in words but in our actions a lot of times we're very comfortable with manifesting what we want to do with our words but when it comes to coupling that with a specific action plan that is where things can slow down is that you is it anyone that can relate to that at any point in time in your business you know i I, myself i raise my hand to that you know and that's why i have adopted this philosophy because i don't want my day to go by and i look up at the end of the night and say okay what was accomplished did i do anything i don't want that type of a day right unless it was my intentional relaxed day Unless it was a predetermined, this is my chill day. That's completely different versus it was supposed to be a productive day and there was no no production, okay, happening. So we have to be very clear about where we're going. If you're not clear about where you're going, I'm sure we all have heard it. You're going to end up somewhere else. You're going to end up in someone else's dream. You're going to end up in someone else's lane. You don't want that. You want to be specifically uh, 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 going in the pathway that you are designed to go into, right? These goals, these dreams cannot accomplish itself on its own. It cannot accomplish itself by itself. 
These things have to be coupled with action, right? Action is a verb, meaning we have to get up and we have to do something. We have to put one foot in front of the next. And granted, when things happen in life, we sometimes don't even feel like doing that. But this is why I do this show, Good Morning to the Leader in You, to stir up something on the inside of you that says, you know what, I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to stand tall. I'm going to stand fast. I'm going to make sure I give my business all I got. I'm going to make sure I give me all I got, right? You got to give to yourself before you even give to your business. Are you nurturing yourself? Body, mind, soul, spirit, are you nurturing yourself, right? So whatever that may look like for you, you know what nurturing you need for yourself to keep yourself at an optimum capacity because see, sometimes we're running on fumes. Let's just be honest about it as entrepreneurs. Sometimes we're running on fumes and, and my word to everyone, no, we need to run at optimal capacity, right? And the visual of that is, you know, if we have a car and, and sometimes people may want to wait till they get to the gas station, they running on fumes, running on fumes, hoping they make it to the gas station. Sometimes businesses are like they were running on fumes, hoping we make it another week, hoping we make it another month, hoping we make it another quarter running on fumes. Are you running on fumes? Because if you're not giving your day an assignment, you're running on fumes. Yeah, it's true. I know it's sometimes it's hard to think about it. Are you running on fumes? I'm going to say that again. Are you running on fumes? Give your day an assignment so you don't run on fumes. Give your day an assignment so you have some intentionality about your day. <clears throat> Give your day an assignment so that way you hit your goals. Let me tell you something about running on fumes. You know, when people in business are running on fumes, that means there's no new, new creative ideas that's being brought to the table. That means there's no growth happening in the company when you're running on fumes. That means there's no um, uh, uh, new thought, new perception, new, new, new creative thought, right? There's just no new, new. There's no new. It, and that's just the best way that it's really coming to me to say it right now. There's no exchange taking place in your company. Everything is stagnant is still think about that pond of water that's stagnant. That's not moving. It starts to create a, a negative uh, uh, or, or not a not a great smell. Right. Um, and, and sometimes that's how it is with our business when we're running on fumes. What fragrance is our business giving off? Like, are we vibrant about our business? Because people can feel that. Are we vibrant or are we not vibrant? People can feel that. OK. And so one of the things that we have to keep in mind that when we give every day an assignment that we're fueling our business, we're fueling our business. You're fueling your business when you give your day an assignment. You know, um, one of the things I, I tell people when you're building your business, if you wanted to thrive, you got to have a plan. Are you fueling your business by giving it an assignment? I'm just just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. Are you fueling your business by giving it an assignment? Think about today, for example. What assignment is on the things to do list? What is on the agenda for today? Again, if this is supposed to be a productive day, what's on the agenda? What's first, second, third, fourth? What what order has you, have you put your action steps in because ordering is so key and so important when it comes to building your business. You got to know what order do you need to strategize and move out in, right? We can't just kind of just move out willy nilly. We got to have a plan of action when we move out, right? What is your plan of action for today? Something to think about food for thought, right? Food for thought. How are we building? I want you to think about that for a second. Think about how you're building, how you're fueling your business today based on your action steps. Whatever you wrote down, whatever you put in your phone, or maybe you just mentally answered the question to yourself, that's going to give you an indication of how today is going to go. Honestly, it's going to give you an indication on how today is going to go. So I don't want this to be a depressive time for anyone. If you don't have anything on your paper, this is the time for you to pause when this podcast end for you to write down your goals, your strategy steps on how you will fuel your business today. Sometimes we're waiting for other people to fuel us personally and other people to fuel our business. But I'm telling you, 
I'm telling you, you got to be the one, if you're the CEO and founder of your company, you got to be the one that fuel your business, but you got to first pour into yourself. And that's why I said, when you look at your course of your seven days, build into it that time of refreshment, that time of relaxation. So you can be fueled for the productive days, right? So listen, we're going to wind down this podcast today. I just wanted to pop in, talk about the assignment. You are assigned with a great purpose in your hands and I want you to achieve it. But in order to do so, you got to fuel your business. And in order to fuel your business, you personally has to stay fueled up. But know that when you fuel your business, you are living out your dreams. You're living out your passion. You're living out your goals because you're giving it an assignment. If anybody needs assistance with strategic planning or organizational development, send me an email, ct at katherinetrotter.com, and I'm going to see you at the top.